Night two of protests erupting in Borough Park. Demonstrators in the Brooklyn neighborhood are against Governor Cuomo's new restriction on schools, non-essential businesses, and houses of worship after an uptick in COVID cases in parts of Brooklyn and Queens. The holiday is two more days and it's closing it right before these two days. Hundreds in the predominantly Orthodox Jewish neighborhood saying they're being singled out and will continue to pray together in large groups despite the state mandate to restrict religious gatherings in city hotspots. <laughs> A journalist for the Jewish Insider covering the protests alleges he was brutally attacked by a crowd calling him a Nazi and Hitler. Multiple fires were lit on the street and dozens of demonstrators were seen without masks. Most of the people in this neighborhood, is it legal just to come into certain neighborhoods and say you can't pray, you can't hold your services? This former New York State Assemblyman has long ties to the Borough Park community and condemns the violence. The overall thing, attacking people, putting people in the hospital, it is unconscionable. It is a horror. It is disgusting. And I hope that those responsible for attacking anyone last night will be arrested. All of this comes as Governor Andrew Cuomo amended Mayor Bill de Blasio's initial zip code based plan with red hot zones for mandatory closures, limiting houses of worship to 10 attendees at a time, which he says is for the safety of all New Yorkers. Those who live in orange warning zones and yellow precautionary zones have less restrictions. Some people are unhappy. I understand it. These limitations are better than going back to close down. And we did reach out to the NYPD this morning, and despite that footage that you just saw, despite what several journalists have experienced in that neighborhood in Brooklyn, the NYPD says there have not been any arrests or no destruction of property. Of course, we will continue to check in with them all morning long. But in the meantime, many city leaders here in Brooklyn say those protests and what's happening there in Brooklyn is not a reflection of the borough. We're live in Brooklyn this morning. Jennifer Bisram, PIX11 News.